morning, good morning. We got a nice rainy day here in sunny Las Vegas. How y'all doing out there this morning? How y'all living? I say I'm just gonna do a little quick reality tea, reality star, what's going on in America right now. I really haven't hit on Art Kelly and the situation with him and the girls. Cause that 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 stuff kind of creeps me out. A man messing with a young lady, that young, and I'm not saying, you know, we all date younger people. I'm not saying anything like that. I don't know if it's true. You guys go over there and check out Layla Lynn. She has very in-depth stories about Art Kelly and this bull crap he got going on. He claimed they able to come and go. The young lady has did interviews. One minute she looked like she was afraid to look at the camera. He was asking her, can she leave anytime she wants to? She was saying yes. And the next day she did an interview because her dad is saying that, you know, she's uh, being held, you know, against her will. And someone reported that the dad introduced her to Art Kelly. But of course, he's, you know, he's an artist. He's a, a star. People want to become famous. When they want their chance, they want to sing. You know, one young lady went online and said that she, she went to his concert and the guy's uh, saying that Robert wants your telephone number. Of course, you're infatuated. Oh my God, oh my God. Out of all the people, he paid attention to me, she said. But as she started to talk to him and uh, converse with him over the telephone, something wasn't right. He kept telling her to, you know, go talk to me away from your parents. And she said she was 18. And uh, it was always, you know, things that's weird. She said then she act, he asked her, allegedly, to send uh, nudes of her. So she said when she spoke to some people that was older, they told her, no, that don't sound right, you know. What do this man want pictures of you for? And you, it's just creepy. But uh, anyway, guys, that uh, Floyd Mayweather and uh, Connor... <laughs> <laughs> that shit funny. Yesterday I was watching a video and they were walking and I don't know where they and what they was doing because I'm just scrolling through my timeline. You know, Miss Tiki, I'm trying to find some tea to spill. And I see that the bodyguards is walking in front of the car. I think it's Floyd driving. I'm not sure. It was either Floyd or McGregor. I think it's Floyd. And they hit the bodyguard. I say, well, look at this shit right here. I said, are you serious? And uh, I said, well, I'm quite sure you're going to get him a couple of hundred thousands because he knocked him over. I was just like, <laughs> yeah, this shit is unreal. But um, moving along, this morning I woke up and I'm scrolling and I see Fame, Fameless, Fame. Now she doing it, that girl doing her shit. And I think somebody had hacked her site because they were hating, but she backed up. And uh, I seen Fame, she reported that Chad Johnson, you know, he's over here with this young lady, supposed to be his girlfriend, this Crystal young lady, he had a baby with her, and he done had two kids after her, one young lady done filed for him, I don't know, to pay child support while she's pregnant, they say his home is going up for auction, and you know what, I feel sorry for Chad, because y'all y'all know we watching Evelyn Lozada this is the young lady he had the domestic dispute with. We watched Evelyn Lozada re, you know, rebuild her life. She's on Basketball Wives. And uh, as we watched her, she is not a saint. I'm sorry. They say to every cause, there's an effect. And uh, we, we shouldn't react to everything. But I'm quite sure that helper probably hit him. Uh, she did something. No, a man is not supposed to put his hand on no female. But I know. And she know, deep down in her heart, she knows she was wrong. That young man lost his entire career. But, you know, that's that's a lesson. These NFL players and uh, athletes, anybody, it don't matter what type of field you're in. Keep your hands to yourself. But anyway, back to the story. Come on, boo-boo. Back to the story. Well, damn, what happened to that car? He got two times on flight. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Um, they're saying that some young lady is taking him to court for child support, but the team, 
he was caught with Betty Wop's ex that just was on a picture with him, Chrissy or whoever. The young lady where Fetty Wap tattooed the little girl's names on his chest. Now, they had just started dating Fetty Wap and this young lady, Chrissy. I don't know her name. And uh, anyway, he tattooed her two girls' names on his chest under his girls' names. And I'm like, damn, he was really liking her, digging her to go that far. This motherfucker just crazy. Well, Fetty Wap was seen with the young lady and they were, you know, hanging and hanging out, kicking it. I guess he took her out of town or whatever. She was so happy. She hurried up and posted the video. And then next week he was with another girl. So now that young lady has been caught on a picture with Chad Johnson. I say, Van be doing it. Somebody sent her a picture. <laughs> I say, boy, these motherfuckers are something else. So if a celebrity or athlete, anybody just want to holler at you, enjoy the ride, enjoy your time, and just keep it moving. That's all I can tell you. It is what it is. Y'all Carly Red and Caesar, y'all see, they done broke up. And uh, on the reunion, I thought maybe the Tommy shit could have been fake, but Tommy was hanging out with Sky. I don't know if Tommy was just trying to get next to Caesar to piss off Carly Red. She did. So, undoubtedly, while Carly Red is dating Caesar, Sky and Tommy start hanging out. They go to candy party, an all white party, and Carly Red sees, you know, Sky there with Tommy. She's like, Who are you here with? And uh, Sky was like, You know, her and she told her that's a bad move and then Sky said she treated her like shit so Caesar say Sky's like her sister they done kind of relocated to Atlanta and uh, I guess him and Carly Red was supposed to be dating well anyway make a long story short <laughs> y'all know Tiki with a good talking ass they done broke up I don't know if Tommy screwed him or not uh, Tommy was just trying to piss her off but he was seen over this weekend with a young lady, Persian, Asian. And I guess she was on BGC or somewhere before. And um, he been out of town and in Miami. And I guess he done moved on. And he kicking it with her. Caesar say he's just single, dating, having fun. He said he did miss Duchess. But <clears throat> he feel like Duchess did it wrong. I'm like, you know what? I don't get it. These ninjas be cheating like 90 going north, okay? Soon as you get their ass back, they ready to go. It's a wrap. I'm like, you know what? And <laughs> I was watching something, and somebody asked, uh, it was on Duchess IG Live, and somebody asked Duchess where it sees. Oh, my God. Why? Why? <laughs> that bitch didn't that, that, She almost had a heart attack. I was like, oh, my goodness. I'm like, relax, boo. It, it's not that serious. She damn near had a heart attack. And the mama was even saying, he with your mama. And I was like, ooh, your whole family dislikes C's. But I guess he on here going with everybody, being seen with this one, that one, and the other one. And y'all got to uh, realize this young man is on TV. He's a reality star. He, he wants to be seen. He got to stay relevant. Carly Red. They just want to stay relevant, you know? And I'm like, this is something else. And uh, you guys hit me down in the comments what y'all think about the situation with this Jasmine and uh, Kirk. Jasmine is online and she's very upset that Mona did not reveal those DNA tests. Every, if she's saying, Kirk, no, that's his baby. He used to take care of her and the baby. She chased him around. Now the court won't DNA test. I don't know if it's, you know, the timing. Because what they uh, put on TV is not what's going on social media. Because the timing is always two weeks or three weeks behind. So, you know, everybody is upset. Y'all hit me down in the comments. Do y'all think Mona should have revealed them DNA tests? That's bullshit. And I'm not watching next year just to see Kirk and them three earrings. I'm sorry. I'm getting ready to go there. I'm like everybody else. Ain't nobody got time for that, okay? Let me see what else I wanted to chit-chat with y'all about. 
Y'all black china mama done lost her damn mind. This bitch just going in on everybody. Ain't nobody paying her ass no attention. She just wants some attention. Black china mama wants somebody to call her and give her a show up feed to show up and show out. If she don't set her ass down, I know the black china is even ignoring her. I mean, y'all, you know, somebody said, why is her weave so thin? <laughs> I said, y'all, something else. But, uh, you guys, I'm getting ready to get off here. Thank you guys for sliding through. If you haven't hit that subscribe button, hit that subscribe button. And uh, follow me over there, you guys, on Tiki, on e IG, Tiki44. Twitter, Tiki44. And y'all have a lucky day. Thanks. Mm -hmm.